Hello and welcome back to Poolside Chat presented by annualpools.com. I'm Rob. And I am Matthew. And today we have a very topical question. Oh, yeah. It's about winter covers. Oh. Well, I guess they could be watching this in May, but winter is coming. Yes. Eventually. Yes, it is, Reek. Yeah. Uh, well, more of a Jon Snow, but go ahead. Well, I'm more of a Hodor. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but we, we have uh, our question goes as such. What size winter cover do I need for my pool? Robert? Well, that's a great question. You'd think the answer would be simple, but it's not. It um, so we have a lot of people that are looking at our cover charts and they don't see the size of their pool. For example, if they have an above ground pool that's a 16 foot diameter, we don't have a cover that's for a 16 foot pool. Mm -hmm. But what they'll need to do is go up the next size, which would be an 18 foot pool cover. And that's what they go with. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Pretty just, simple. Just, just go the next size up. Exactly. Yeah. Now, if we want to take that over to in ground pools, let's say you have an 18 by 36 um, rectangle but you have a four foot, sec uh, four foot step section on the end. So that adds on four feet, means you have an 18 by 40 mm -hmm. essentially. Now, um, you probably aren't gonna find an 18 by 40 uh, pool cover out there, but you will find a 20 by 40. So you just slap Good. that bad boy on there and you're done. Yeah. Quick and easy. Yep. Well, what if you have a free form pool? Well, free form is pretty easy. You measure the longest length and the widest width and find a rectangle that'll cover that. That's, That's it. It's pretty darn easy. It's pretty simple. What? Bling boom. Exactly. <laughs> this is, this, that, I don't think bling booms on the website, but we'll work on it yeah. and get back to you. But uh, thank you for joining us. If you have any other questions about uh, in ground or above ground winter covers, feel free uh, to contact in your pools. Uh, thank you for joining us.